Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's one thing you've never told anyone, but will tell us? Before your cell phone kept track of birthdays, I used to remind my husband's friends and family about his birthday so he'd get a lot of birthday. Greetings. It totally made him happy that everyone remembered his birthday. You're an angel, you can't even fathom how much that means to him. My wife has a ceramic mug that she drinks water from all day long. She's been using the same mug for as long as I've known her. I found the exact mug on eBay five years ago, shortly after we moved in together. That replacement mug is stored in a bonks box at my office in case I accidentally smash the original. This is wholesome. Removed. I'm glad you're still here. I hope you're in a better place pink heart. I had a neighbor who was an older lady and didn't have much extra money. She had a dog she couldn't afford to take to the vet regularly. The dog was everything to her. I would tell her I was going to take her dog to the dog park to play a couple of times a week. He was friends with my dog anyway, so it was no big deal. Once a year, one of those trips was taking the dog to the vet. I never told her or any of my neighbors because I didn't want to embarrass her. I have been a veterinarian technician for a couple of decades now and just wanted to say on her and her dog's behalf, thank you. Stories like this give me a solid reminder of why I actually do love my job. Over the years I have experienced a lot of heartbreaking, traumatizing situations, but some of the worst ones were when owners really were trying their best, but just cannot afford to do it. Occasionally we will get a call from a friend, loved one who wants to put a credit on someone's account anonymously. Sometimes we tell them the truth, that it was an anonymous donation for them, or for more sensitive situations we tell them a general donation was made to the hospital that they qualified for. Occasionally we also will have someone request to be contacted and have all payment go through them. Should the pet come in, sometimes it's a known arrangement, but sometimes this is anonymous too. Just throwing out possible options for anyone to look into who may find themselves in a similar situation. It's easy to say, well don't have an animal you cannot afford. And although it is true for many situations, there's a lot of times the finances changed with time. So good for you kind person. You not only did something selfless for her and her pup, you also took her embarrassment into consideration. Some people only do things for clout and recognition, not the goodness of their heart. Your neighbor may never know what kind amazing person you are, but you and the pup duh, and it's your little secret. Even if it's mad at you for a little while for dragging him to the bad place with cones of shame. I was at church summer camp when I was 10 and got up to use the bathroom during a daytime chapel service. On the way there, I was picking at a scab on my hand, and it started to bleed just a bit. Once I got into the bathroom stall, I used some of the blood to write the word die on the wall above the toilet. The camp staff freaked out once they found it and everyone who had left the service to use the bathrooms was questioned. I remember they made a huge deal out of it, and the camp director talked to us about how worried he was. But no one ever zeroed in on me, and my bleeding had stopped by the time anyone was paying attention. I was just really into Sherlock Holmes and solving mysteries. I thought the bloody word looked like the scary cover font on some of my mystery books. I also wanted to see if anyone could solve what happened. Belated apologies to anyone who was a church camp counselor in upstate New York in the summer of 88 and had to deal with my bullshit. Liking Sherlock Holmes and mysteries considered. Writing die in blood is wild for a 10-year-old. Funny, but wild open mouth smile. As someone that works with a bunch of 10-year-olds, this doesn't seem all that wild to me actually. Lol. It's sad. When my mom was on hospice, she wrote down a very short list. Casseroles. Pies. She wasn't always all there. So I asked her what it was. She said, things to make for when I die, my celebration of life. There are probably going to be a lot of people. I think she was trying to think of dishes we could have to feed a lot of people at once. My mom didn't have a funeral. She didn't have a celebration of life. No one would have come. My brother found the note after she died, and was laughing about it. He had no context, so he thought it was a note she wrote when she was less, with it, and found it endearing. I let him think that, because the truth was heartbreaking. I've never told him, or anyone else. This is so sad. No one would have come. Why's that? Short answer. My mom. Wasn't very liked. She was very abrasive and argumentative. She perceived she was a lot more liked than she was. Long answer. She was a bitch. I am a bitch too. See edit below. She taught me to stand up for what you believe in. Stand your ground. Don't let anyone take advantage of you. Which is good, but it doesn't get you liked overall. But she lived in a different reality as she got older. She was 60 when she died. I think she may have developed minor schizophrenia in her late 40s. She could never do anything wrong. And denied everything bad that ever happened including her physical, emotional abuse to me. Broken bones level. I truly believe that she, honest to God, didn't remember doing those things as time passed. I always thought she was just in denial and refused to take accountability. 
But she said and did things that made me realize that she actually truly believed it never happened. I learned to forgive, love her again after that. Her brain wasn't working as it should, and you could literally watch her mental state deteriorate. Edit. The word, bitch, has been reclaimed. Women get called, bitches, for being strong, independent, standing up for themselves, knowing their worth, etc. Many women have reclaimed the word because none of those things are bad. If doing those things makes me a bitch, I guess I am one.